Okay, we up and going. Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwam Ya Sha'ala. Ko Hello, Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakaka Dutch. That will honor to our apostles and elders, the great millstone, Ruel, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all you Akim Akwaf, that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Zachanan, got the brother Harad, and, and again, hey, we out here another week. Hey, the Lord, He keeps sending the men out, and we're going to keep coming out by the will of the Holy Spirit, man, as long as He allows us to come out and teach our people, you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that you are the true Hebrew Israelites. We out here to, 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 to basically, the kingdom is at hand. That's one of the main things that um, the Lord is sending us out here for is to um, go to the, the, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And to let them know that the kingdom is at hand, you know, like our Lord is, is on the way, man. When you see all these things that's going on, you know, that's out here. So the true name of the father is Yahweh. Let's get that out of the way because you have to know the true name of the father. It's Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one in Paleo Hebrew. And the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's a savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. So you had to repent to the Father Yahweh in the name of His Son Yahweh Shai, and we had to come out also to let our people know: Hey, there's no such thing as a white Jesus coming back to save you, man. The Lord's name is not Jesus. The letter J was invented in 1524, about 500 years ago. So if the Lord walked the earth 2,000 years ago, you know, of course, His name can't be Jesus. You know, that and the math don't add up on that. And you can Google it. You know, we can't do all the work for you. You gotta, hey, you gotta Google and search and do some studying into uh, uh, on your own, man. You have to study and show yourself approved. You know? So, you know, a lot of things are going on in the news. I don't know if you are, uh, you know, peep on um, with the the, um, the Chinese weather balloon. Yesterday, they got a damn uh, Chinese balloon flying over America, collecting data and shit. They found it yesterday. Then it was one, I think, today they found in South America. And, and, Chi and China admitted to it, too. Yeah, those are our balloons, but we're not spying. So they sent them fighter jets in to blow that bitch. <laughs> matter of fact, I was trying to find it because I was matter. Let me see. I may, I may still have it in the history on here. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, no, that big ass. Hey, that motherfucker look like the moon, bro. Big ass weather balloon. Here you go, right here. China self-inflicted balloon shot. That's it right there. That motherfucker was floating over America like it wasn't shit. Hey, so. This is what's really, I mean, there was an article about two or three days ago where it was talking about China and the U.S. going to war possibly in the next two years or so. And this was an American general or something, you know, talking about that. But hey, we, we're praying that this happened before then. We're praying that all this shit goes down before then. Because this is, um, hey, this, he says, and hey, you know that was, um, uh, what's that guy named? Anthony Blinken. You know, he's like the spokesperson for the U.S. Looking all crazy as hell. He always on, you yeah, know. long time. Long time in America, yeah, you know, but now, hey, but I mean, all these things are starting to come to pass. Matter of fact, let's get Matthew 24 out. You know, and these scriptures come out all the time. So, I mean, but there are newcomers that's in his truth. So, we got to, we, hey, the, the, the message is simple. We, hey, we're, 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 the, the, this song is on loop, man. We're saying the same thing every week. And it may get repetitious to you, or it may be like, ah, oh, man, that's all they talk about. But hey, we have to bring out the scripture when it comes to the um, the end world prophecies, man. And a part of those end world prophecies is World War Three, that third woe, and also the MOTB. You know what I'm saying? Jake flying. Hey, that 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 mark of the beauty and the beast. <laughs> that beauty and the beast is out here, man. Esau Edom is, is trying to implement that thing thing, man, and put it in you. And, and it's, on the, it's on the rise, man. There was another article that I, I want to uh, probably go into, too, if I can find it. And so um, uh, They got it called um, Paper Face. So when you walk up, you you can't do nothing, but, it, you know, they have to take that picture of your, you know, they got, that's, oh, that's um, big over in Russia. Yeah. You can't get on no trains. You can't go into no post office. You can't go nowhere. And, and you know, that, that thing had to hit your face and get your, you know, your visuals down. Because that's what the um what these people have been doing. They've been collecting damn data on, 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 the, on the human population forever, man. Now they're implementing it in their computer programs, man. 
Don't think that they don't know who you are. If you've ever walked into a damn casino, or if you've ever walked into a Walmart, or anything that's got, when you come in and you know that they're, camp, they're, they're recording you, they already know who you are. They know where you live. Especially if you done used a credit card in that motherfucker or a debit card, they know exactly who you are, right? I'm gonna read a little bit of this. It says, um, now this is the Chinese with the, the Chinese weather balloon. Uh, they, they, uh, well, not a weather balloon, <laughs> but it says China self inflicted self inflicted balloon shot. It says, uh, here are two predictions about the Chinese spy balloon now floating across the continental U.S. First, we'll learn that President Joe Biden was offered a shoot down option with very low risk to the Montanans. So this is kind of, when they spotted it, it was over Montana. Second, Beijing will come to deeply regret this incident. Whatever political challenges the balloon poses for um, Biden, Xi Jinping has made a big mistake in exchange for what is likely to be a very limited new intelligence data. Xi has crystallized China's threat to the U.S. in a directly physical and unequivocal aggression form all of Xi's recent work trying to shift away from China's self-destructive wolf warrior dip um, diplomacy violent antics has floated off into the e floated off into ether so let's get that on that Matthew 24 because I, I mean hey you can see what's going on man all you're gonna hear of in these last days is war talks of war rumors of war but this is the beginning of sorrows you start at three or four you start at three all right as, as, and as he set up upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of the thy, thy coming and of the end of the world? Yep, so the disciples is coming to the Lord, Yahushua and asking the Lord what's going to be going on in the end times. Go ahead, Ox. As the house I answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Hey, that's a commandment, man. Take heed that no man deceive you. Because you got a lot of um, scoffers out here, a lot of false prophets, a lot of false teachers. There's a lot of people out here that's deceiving the, the, um, the um, you know, they're not going to be able to deceive the elect. But they're going to, hey, it's a lot of people that's going to be deceived, man. That's why you have to stay on, on watch. Stay on point with your watch. Study and show thyself approved. So when you hear some bugged out shit, you know it's some bugged out shit. Go ahead, I, but you're not gonna know that unless you are, are, are you know, up on your game and, and, and most definitely praying. You have to constantly be praying, man. The scripture says to pray without ceasing. Go ahead, I. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Yahushua and, sh and shall Deceive many. You got that going on throughout the globe. There's plenty of um so-called white boys running around with a long ass hair with that old with that 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 effeminate Jesus look, man. Got a whole bunch of people following him and thinking that he's actually the Lord. And that's all over the place. Stop you. I did say y'all saw I meant to say Christ, because that's what they're coming in, Christ's name. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what they're coming. Hey. A lot of these camps that's out here, that's that's the name that they're pushing. If you if you come across a camp, you new to this truth, and, and that camp is talking about they still saying Jesus, or they're saying Christ, you need to get away from them, man. If they're not using the true names Yahweh or Yahweh Shai, now we'll use the name Jesus, you know, to let somebody know exactly who we're talking about, you know, because a lot of people don't know him as Yahweh Shai. That's why we'll say uh, Jesus, you know. Um, who the, the people eagerly calls, they eagerly call you Howicide Jesus, we'll put it that way. But his name is not Jesus, so we'll use it to let you know, hey, his name is not that, his name is Yahushua. You know? Because you have to know the true names of the Father and the Son. Now, hey, that, hey, that's the first boogie on the get down in this thing, man. You can know all the scriptures that you want. It's white people know the scriptures. You can go into the commentary, like you can go into this, this Bible, and they got commentaries where the so-called white man or broke certain scriptures down and he'll break them down right. Certain ones of them. So it's not, hey, they, they, they study and do a diligent search. 
So you have to study and do a diligent search. Go ahead, I. And you shall hear of wars yep. and rumors of wars. Wars and rumors of wars. What do you think is going on with this Russia, Ukraine? You got um, um, Israel and um, Iran right now. Um, I mean, it's a whole bunch. You, you still got China, you know, and Taiwan, which America, they try to, America trying to, they hopscotching into everybody's shit. So it's wars and rumors of wars going on. And that, that Ukraine thing going to really push things to the, to the limit, I think, though. You know, me speaking as a man. Cause it's getting a lot more wilder because you got Germany, they done sent um, 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 tanks over there. Now Germany, they really didn't want to send them tanks over there because you know Germany and Russia, that was a part of that real World War II, so to speak. You know, they was banging, you know, cause America got into that war at the last minute. They didn't, they wasn't like in the thick of it at first. So when Germany sent them tanks over there, they, they that sent memories back to their asses like, damn man, hey, that world, hey, that World War II. Germany and Russia, yeah, yeah. Germany had a lot to do with that um that first war, you know. So now they just sent tanks over there. France just sent some tanks over there. Now um France and um I think Germany they're making like the um I think France is gonna supply Germany with the with the gunpowder and the munitions, so to speak. And Germany is gonna put the shit together. So you know um and you got this this guy um Zelensky, you know on TV. Cause I just watched that last night on Euro News with him and that that one wicked ass white chick from um the World Economic Forum, and they hey they putting it together, man. It's all EU and NATO, and, and it's all got to do with Revelation, man. All this stuff is coming together beautifully, man. The prophecies is falling, man. These prophecies are coming to pass, man. You see? Go ahead. I see that ye be not troubled. See, we're not supposed to be troubled by this. Go ahead, Doc. So all these things must come to pass. They got to come to pass. But as you're hearing them come to pass, you know that the disciples asked him, Lord, what's going to be happening in the end days? These things that we were reading off, the Lord said these things will be happening just before his coming. So that means that the clock is ticking, man. The hourglass, when you turn the hourglass and it's got the sand in it, and that shit is drizzling down. Hey, it, 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 it's getting down to them last couple of drains, them, them last couple of little grains falling into the hourglass, man. Go ahead, I'll put us on that. But the end is not yet. See, the end is not yet. It's not yet, but it's, it's close. Go ahead, I. For a nation shall rise against nation. Russia against Europe. Israel against Iran. China against Taiwan, China against the U.S., Russia against the U.S. All these things are coming to pass. Go ahead, Doc. And kingdom against kingdom. Kingdom is against kingdom. You know that. Hey, you got your own people going against each other in these nations, man. You got uproars of the people all over the world. Like when they were just in Brazil, they tore that. Took them. They tore that um, um, presidential building up, man. Ran that guy into Florida. <laughs> the one guy they ran his ass into the United States in the Florida man. He's in the hospital. He got jugged up, and stabbed his ass while he was out, you know, in a little parade and shit. Go ahead, Doc. And there shall be famines. Famines? That's on the rise, man. That's coming. Hey, pestilence. Pestilence. Hey, they gonna give you a new batch of diseases soon. And earthquakes in diverse places. The earthquakes are still popping. I just went on the earthquake app. You can, go on a, you can go on the earthquake app right now. Within the U.S., it's well not well hell, shit. Even in the U.S., I went on the earthquake app last week. It's still been almost fifty thousand earthquakes um, um, as of last year. I think it's it's probably done been about five to six thousand earthquakes since the first of January, right now. So those earthquakes is going down. Now when it comes down to the famines. I just done that lesson yesterday when well, you know um you you know the, you got um that chicken um the, the chicken farm out in um I think that was Connecticut or whatever that was it burnt down the so-called white man he's burning down all these food facilities man says a hundred thousand chickens you know what I'm saying now the price of eggs is and then they it, matter of fact it said 60 million chickens they had to euthanize 60 million chickens man they had to euthanize for bird flu man I just went to the grocery store and bought some uh, what you call it? Three kings. I 
for three cans, a couple, a couple of bottles of sauce that came up to thirty something dollars, thirty five dollars. You said three cans of what? Uh, turkeyaki, uh, like some. Chinese, uh, like this vegetables all oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, everything is getting expensive, man. Like, man, 30 For real? Oh, yeah. That lady said hey, look, $30 bro. Up. Look, it's costing about $20, $30, $40 damn near to just cook a meal for the for one day. And you may have some leftovers out of it to go into the next day, but really, on average, I can't even imagine somebody that's got a family of four or five. Matter of fact, I recorded that. Um, I was looking at um, the QAN news, and um, they had uh, you know they was asking this so far. Yeah, they was asking a bunch of white people about the American um, dream and what do they think. And this one guy, he was like, man, shh. and he was hey, the money he was talking about. This motherfucker was making like you know one hundred and fifty thousand, two hundred thousand a year, but to him that wasn't shit. Cause he couldn't buy the dream home, so it was a black guy, so-called black guy, that was interviewing him, and he was like, um, so, you know, you know, what do you think about the American dream? He was like, well, you know, he he was like, what's your your version of American dream? He was like, well, he was a younger guy, he seemed like he might have been in his thirties or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he was like, well, my American dream was I always wanted to have four kids, you know, I wanted a summer house, and I wanted, a, you know, I wanted, you know, my house over here, and you know, I'm thinking to myself. Same shit. Hey, that's what Esau be thinking though. See, if Esau don't have the two jet skis, if Esau don't have the um, the RV, if he don't have a summer home, if he don't, if he can't go camping, he can't take the um, the family on on the Walt Disney trip every year or some shit. He's not living. That's their vision on American Dream. Now, mind you, like I said, this guy. He was saying that, um, I forgot what work he was doing, but he was saying that he wasn't doing bad, but he was like, I can't buy a house. I'm like, motherfucker, you making $150,000 a year? You can't buy a house? Right. It wasn't the type of house that he wanted to buy. Oh, I had to, go, I had to get a condo. You know, like Jake just trying to just pay rent, man. <laughs> For real, I'm looking at, I recorded it. Matter of fact, I might still, I don't know if I've done it on this phone. I recorded the shit, man. Cause I was trying to do, you know, like little segments of the show, and it was just people on there, just white people, so-called white people on there, man, just fucking just idiots, man. You see, this is the guy right here. He was interviewing him. <laughs> hey, hey, man, his American dream was through, and it was kind of like the so-called black guy. He was kind of sniggering at him. I could tell he was kind of like, but each person that they brought on there, they they brought a Jake on there. Jake with that black, I'm blackity black, I'm black shit. Like, man, look, man. You are not about to have no American dream here. He talking about his American dream. Get the hell out of here, man. You know? Man, I ain't gonna lie. When, we, when I went in the truth, we didn't know no better. We used to, we used to argue about being here in America. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, it's just certain stuff. The Lord, when you think, when you, when you backtrack, and you think it into your life before you came into this truth, you can kind of see the way the Lord was leading you right up into the truth. All the stuff that we used to talk about, I remember we used to talk about that Millennium 2000 video, remember that? Remember that when the guy was talking about the chip back in the days, back in 2000, it was like 99, 2000, some shit like that. Talking about the chip. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, I remember man. I was a lady was I was a little teenager. He was downtown, the lady was passing out. Flyers talking about chip going in, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. The brother just done a video um day before yesterday I was watching. I forgot what state it is. I want to say it's Texas. It's mandatory that you get your dog or your pet chip. Man. It's not even something that you can choose. If you have a pet, you have to have it chipped. So when you think about it, just think about how many people that, that just be riding around with their damn dog in the car. That. You know, or just think about all the people that be, or no, they, no, they go no. camping, bro, and you got your dog with you. They know exactly where the fuck you at just off your dog. Exactly. This, 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 this is the thing. Why is it mandatory for you to chip your animal? Yeah. Why do I have to chip my animal? And then they want to keep track of yeah. you. Yeah. And once they can't keep track of you through your animal, it's going to come to it. Right. It's all conditioning is what it is. It's, it's that gradualization that Esau Edom got going on, man. 
Because matter of fact, I'm trying to think. Uh, I may not have that one in here. It might be in the other phone. But this one, um, and we'll get back to where we was at. But hey, hey, this China, this China shit, man, with that balloon shit, that's gonna be something, man. Now you, now you know Trump. He talking about um, if he get reelected, he's gonna try and get an iron dome over um, America, like how um, Israel has. That's that's his talking point right now. That's one of his main talking points as far as um, being reelected. And you know these yeah, so don't Israel got an iron dome? Yeah, they got the iron dome. Well, basically, what it is is you know it's a um, a missile defense system where it's like a that bitch a. Hey, I don't care what's coming towards you, it's gonna shoot off and it's gonna get that shit before it get to Israel. It's called an Iron Dome, it's a missile system, missile defense system. And you know what, the crazy part is, is Trump actually said, yeah, we helped them build it, if it wasn't for us, well, why are you helping out another country and your shit not together? <laughs> what kind of sense do that make? You sending billions of dollars over there to get their military together, and then you sending all your, your, your um, ammunition over here to um, Ukraine, to get their shit together, and your ass slacking. Here you go, you got China uh, floating a damn uh, 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 goddamn spy balloon over your country, man. And I, I let you know how far, how far America has fallen, man. Matter of fact, not America, though, how far, how far the so-called white Yeah, people. just Esau in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, America is that main, you know, that main nigga, man. He, he's that the main, last, main nigga. The last, the, the last um, He's that main right, gang right. member. You America's see? America's the last so-called white folk that's going to hurrah. Oh, yeah. The, the, the British had she, Hey, she the bitch that's sitting upon that beast. She the revelation. The English had this. All of them had this. America's the last. America is sitting on the beast of that EU, that NATO nation, that, that NATO shit, man. Once they shit over. Riding the hell out of that beast, man. She riding the hell out of the beast right now. But that beast is starting to buck and, and get ready to... Toss his ass off. Let me get this Ecclesiasticus um, 25 and 7. Um, um, also known as the Book of Sirach. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. And a tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And that's what we're watching right now. We're actually watching the fall of our enemy, man. The so-called white man. And, and I be seeing them, they be looking bad, man. I just done a lesson on, what was that, the other uh, day before yesterday or whatever it was. But man, there was a so-called white man. This motherfucker almost got hit by two cars. Trying to run up on me to ask me for 50 cents to get on the bus. I was in Dearborn. I, I'm not bullshit, bro. He passing by all his people. I'm like, you just passed 20 Edomites. He, they hit him. He running, he, he see, I don't know why he just see. Cause you know what, the so-called white man, they're used to Negroes. They know that we're, you know, we have a soft spot as a people. We're, we're not, you know, um, or at least for the other nations, we hate the shit out of each other, you know, according to those um, Curse. curses of Deuteronomy. But when it comes to the other nations, uh, hey, our, hey, our people go all out of the way, man, to treat another nation um, 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 goldenly, man. So I know, I can see that in his eyes when he ran up, like I'm, you know, surely he'll give it to me. I told him, man, they don't know. Get your ass out of him. Giving you no motherfucking money, man. Get the hell out of here. He almost got hit by two cars, bro. Literally trying to, uh-uh. He finally made it up on me. I'm thinking I had to knuckle up with him, looking like, what the fuck, you know? What the fuck is going on? I ain't know. Oh, sir, 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 you. You think you can help me with 50 cents to get on the bus? I'm like, man, fuck out of here, man. No, I ain't giving you nothing, man. We, we don't have nothing for the wicked, man. You see? And I, cause, cause it was a video that I seen with on the Philip Scott show. You know, the African diaspora, nigga. He know he an Israelite, but he keep pushing that African, African, we black shit. But you know, he done had Israelites on his show, so he know we're Israelites. So I, I even noticed that he, he used some of that is part of his show, but he won't give you the full fullness of it. So he's a, he's whack for that, man. But he had a lady on his show, and um, the title of it was, It's Not Our, Our Problem. So she was going in. She was like, man, you motherfuckers have had a 400, 500 year head start on us. But there was a white lady. She was supposed to have been homeless and on drugs. She was like, we don't give a fuck. We ain't feeling sorry for her. You a two-time loser in your own nation? The hell out of here. You like, no, we... 
We've been through enough. We what the fuck we helping you? Why are we supposed to have so much sympathy for you? When you had a 400, I was, I was like, I was with it. So when I seen him asking about that 50 cent, I'm like, man, get the hell out of here. We ain't giving you no money to get on no bus. You better walk. Shit. You go, you running all past your own people, bro. You at a strip mall. I better, I'm talking about because I'm in Eden White Hood. It wasn't even no jank around. Except for me. He seen me get out of the vehicle. Man, that motherfucker boy, he was running towards me like I was the savior, bro. <laughs> Straight up. Go ahead, I where we at on that uh, Matthew. And and then so many uh, and many false prophets shall rise. Yup, a lot of false prophets, man. What, what, um, uh, 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 what verse you had on there? 11. Oh, you are. Uh, okay, 11. Did we get, uh, oh yeah, you was at, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, we was pretty much about there, you know, all the beginning of, of, of sorrows, man. Let's get um. No, no, no. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Yeah, 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 that's where we was at last. Yeah, yeah. but that, I, I mean, but so but that's yeah. the point though, because yeah. uh, this is the beginning yeah. of sorrows. Right. And, and you haven't seen nothing yet, man. You haven't seen nothing yet, man. Because I'm telling you, I'll be watching that Euro News, and Esau going through it in these nations, man. The women are over there, man. They, they, they commit suicide and shit. The kids, you know, um, I, I, this one story I was in, you know, reading. Because I've done a lesson on that, I'm too. I'm going to be real. It's one that commit suicide. They scared as hell because they know what's going to happen to them. Hey, man. They don't they know, they know. Ain't no, I don't give a damn what they do, how they do it, how much they cry. It's going to happen. But they don't have that spirit of Jake. See, Jake, we, we go through shit, and we just go through it. Uh -huh. Now, don't get me wrong. Jake had been out here committing suicide as of late. You never you really used to hear about Jake's committing no damn suicides, but you're starting to hear a lot more about um, um, so-called blacks out here just like, fuck it, man, I'm out of here. I can't take it. Yeah, it's been, yeah. Yeah, man, it's been quite a few of those boys been going down. Somebody eating or something. Shit, matter of fact, they found a little Jake down, um, um, what city that was, they found his ass hanging in a tree out by the um, elementary school. And, um, you know, they were trying, you know how Jake is, you know. They like, oh, let's do, let's investigate. But you know, supposedly, hey, he done it to him damn self. There's been a lot of people, man. Um, Jake, uh, the one Jake, you know, he ended up killing his wife. He was on Facebook Live. And then done himself after. And then you had another Jake, he, you know, he killed his mom. Or, you know, he killed a you know, whole damn family, man. But that's some Esau shit. It's something for us to be doing that. People don't change. They don't hey change. man, but that's that spirit of your how about shit me outside that judgment, man. No doubt. That's that judgment going out. That's just like you know the three rappers that they found in Holland Park over there. You heard about that? No. The dumb, uh, uh, I, I don't watch news. I ain't got no way of watching it. I never did, but one that watch news. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Y'all, you know, you got to drop a few of those news apps in your phone and stuff. Cause that's yeah. pretty much how you know I be running the lessons down. Going through, I got you know, and then I watch the news. That, but you know, we we got because you know the Lord said to watch and pray, so you know we got to we got to chop it up. But the three um the dudes right over here in Holland Park. What I can't think of where this guy came from. He is a, a place in Michigan. Some silly ass. I ain't even heard of this shit before. But I think it was uh I think the, the spot is called Lounge Thirty One. They are supposed to have a performance at that lounge. The one guy. You know, he, you know, he had spoke because his mom was on the news. He had spoke with his mom, like, mom, I'm here. But they canceled the show. And his mom, you know, she, she was on it immediately. You know what I'm saying? And basically, she was already like, she already know her son was dead. You know what I'm saying? She was like, I just want my baby body back. She, 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 it wasn't even 24 hours. She knew that her not hearing back from her son, she knew she was already like the worst that happened to him. So you got him, he's, he was missing for um like two days. Then come to find out, it was two more of his friends that, that came down here too from whatever city it, it, it was. And they just followed him in um, Holland Park in um, one of those abandoned apartment buildings under some brush. You know, somebody threw a bunch of shit over him in the basement of one of them buildings over there. That was yesterday that they found him. Because the, the guy had been missing for like 11 days. I'm like, oh, after day two? I was like, yeah. Even his mama, she even knew. Cause she, she was like already, you know, 
They all all three of them phones went off at the same time. They just caught a little 15 year old um, in the car yesterday, the guy's car, you know, because his mama was running down the, you know, she had, a, the, you know, was tracking him on his car. Right. So his car had went to uh, Warren, a few different places, in, you know, around the way here. And, um, you know, ended up they found a 15 year old. He was driving the damn car yesterday or whatever, day before with some uh, burglary um, 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 tools in the motherfucker. But they ended up arresting a dude in Tennessee that supposedly, suspiciously, may have something to do with it. Cause they was on Facebook Live, a whole bunch of other shit. But anyway, they, they got judged, young dudes. All three of them, matter of fact. They, I mean, that's been all over the news. That's been all over the news um, lately too. Damn. Yep. So they investigating that. Then you had um the one city council woman, she got shot up in her damn car. Then you got the she one little, I, I don't even know if she died or not. She was from um Jersey, I think it was, city council woman. Then you had this one um little young, little young um um Eve. She got killed, she was pregnant. You know, but but it's been a lot of pregnant women getting offed, man. The Lord been killing women with their children in their stomach, man. So you, Jake, better wake the hell up out here, man, and 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 and, and, and reverence shit. How about Shimmy I was shy, man? You get you have to, man. Matter of fact, let's 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 touch on a few of them scriptures. Um We just gonna flow with the spirit. Let's go to um, Isaiah 45 and 7. Yeah, man, the Lord is out here judging, man. On, 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 hey, I mean, it is what it is, man. And all praises to you, how about Shimei was shy, man? The Lord is, is the all righteous judgment. You got him out. Yeah. Well, Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, do all these things. See that? See, the Lord, he created peace and evil. He's the one that, that, that kills and makes alive. He's the one that wounds and he's the one that heals, man. Matter of fact, let's get Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Because these are basic scriptures, but you know what? I never heard these scriptures come out in the church. I never knew, you know, that the Lord had that left hand side and that right hand side and that he was an actual balanced power, man. You know, because you, you were always the Christians, man. That's how you know them Christians is devil worshipers, man, because they'll give all honor, glory, and praise to Satan every time something bad happens. You know? But, but that's the Lord, man. The Lord is the one that's in control of, of, of what goes down, man. He sends forth the left-handed angels to handle that business for him. And that's, um, you know, according to Ecclesiastes in the book of Sirach, chapter 39, them spirits that were created for vengeance. You see what I'm saying? And I was going off into them rappers, man, because you know them rappers, man, they be saying some foul shit. You know, um, that, that's why, that's that spirit why of power in the judgment yeah. on them. So, yeah. So, so heavy, so wasn't it? Because it's going to be on the drug dealers, too. Oh, yeah. Said, you know what I mean? But it's going to be on the drug dealers, too, because you're destroying your own, man. Yep. You have hate for yourself. A bunch of damn sorcerers and wizards, man. Yeah. That's all, man. Here you go, you out here. Serving the community some shit to keep them in a magical world. Yeah. That's why Jake be out here bugged the hell all out too. You know, hey, the average Jake, you're not gonna find a nigga that ain't he wasn't drinking or wasn't on no dope that day when he done the when he done the shooting. That motherfucker is hot. Overall, I'm, I'm willing to bet you almost 99% of the time that Jake out here doing some bullshit, that he's high, man, on something. He done took some type of drug, man. Go ahead, Ox. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I, am he. Yep. And there is no God with me. There's no God with the Lord, man. The Lord is out here doing this all on his own, man. Go ahead, Ox. I kill. Yep. And I make eat alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So you can't buy your way out of it? You can't pray your way out? Hey, if the Lord wants you out of here, you through. You through, man. You are through. 
And matter of fact, you know, I've been seeing so many judgment. Um, the brother down in uh, Mississippi, he normally go, he 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 doing a he'll do like a judgment video every morning, bro. And you see some of the shit that be happening to people. I be seeing it all in the news and I just done got to a point where it's like I don't report on it really like that too much more. But every now and then we do have to go into these scriptures to let our people know that hey the Lord hey if you you better hey you better get right, man. You better have some real um reverence for your about Shimmy I was shy, man. You gonna put some respect on your Yahweh's name, man, in these last days. Once you start to see the craziness that's gonna jump down jump off, man. Cause the brother he done a video um with the of the elderly couple, the damn um What's that, uh, what the fuck was they at? The damn Denny sign. They was at a Denny's restaurant. The damn Denny sign blew over and crushed the damn car and killed him. Mm. You know the type of calculation and timing that it takes? That's how you know, man, the Lord is cold. Every, all, all the variables gotta come together for you to be somewhere at the exact time that he wants your ass to get got, bro. You done jumped up, you brushed your teeth, you had a bagel, you might have stopped that, you know, got you, you might have had some coffee, coffee might have spilled you, like, oh shit, I gotta change my shirt. You know what I'm saying? All that shit play, it's like on um, the movie Final Destination almost. I don't know if you remember those series of movies that had Final Destination. Oh, yeah. Man, hey, and they was trying to escape death. <laughs> hey. You're not gonna be able to escape your how about Shimmy I was shy, man. I said it, neither can be delivered out yep. of the Yeah, hey, exactly. Hey, that's powerful. Like I said, when I first came into this truth, bro, I never heard none of these scriptures, bro. Yeah, I used to listen to guys talk about being killers and all that. And I used to, you know what I mean? Dude, you ain't no killer. Hey, but you, you know, know I, I kill. You kill yep, somebody, but, you but, have yep, you, yep, he that you to He do put it. that spirit on that nigga to do it. Exactly. That's you, why. You ain't no killer, man. Because what's that? Um, let's get um, what's that? Uh, Proverbs. Let's see if that's what it is. Proverbs sixteen and four. See, a lot of these scriptures, man. Hey, they, these scriptures don't be coming out in the Christian church, man. That's why Jake is out here in in basically double down jeopardy, man. Because you're committing iniquity upon iniquity, and you're you're actually praying to an idol, which is triple iniquity, to 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 rid you. Of the shit that you're doing, and so you just you're never being um 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 you know you're never being forgiven, so to speak, man. Is that is that uh yup sixteen to four? Proverbs sixteen verse four. The Lord have made all things for Himself. Woo! Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Man, hey, that's a cold scripture. <laughs> Hey, you can't get around that. Hey, man, the Lord has created all things, man, for himself. Matter of fact, let's get Revelation 4 and 11, all right? Even the wicked for the day of evil, man. So he created the so-called white man to be the damn wicked and to do what he's doing right now, man. And there's nothing you can do about it but sit back, kick back, watch. And just be glad that he gave you the foreknowledge to know these things. Because the average person, they, they don't know. It is scary being not, not knowing like that because that really means that you're in darkness, man. That's why the scriptures talk about the um the scriptures being a, a lamp to, to your feet, so to speak, roughly paraphrasing. These scriptures being a light to you. Because without these scriptures, your ass is in gross darkness. Go ahead, are you there? Revelations 4, verse 11. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory. And honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. See that? For the Lord's pleasure, all things were created. Man, look, man, the Lord is cold, man. <laughs> Straight up. So for you wicked, say you in the Bible and you Israelite and think that you a killer. Kill Matter of fact, let's get let's go to the um let's go to the apocrypha uh, the book of Sirach. Sirach 39 and 28. Beautiful man. You say 39? 39, yep. Sirach Ecclesiasticus. Okay. 39 and um start at 28. I mean 
Brock, uh, 3928. There is spirits that are created for vengeance. See that? The Lord created spirit, spirits for vengeance, man. Square it out. Which in their, in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their forces. They pour out them forces, baby. And a, a appear, appease, appease, and appease the, the worth of the wrath, the wrath of him that made them. See, so the Lord created spirits for vengeance, and they appease his wrath when he pissed off. Like, go get that nigga, man. You see what I'm saying? I want it done like this. This, 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 and this. I want this to happen to him. No matter of fact, don't kill him. I want it to be to the point where he can't walk no more. You know? I want his eyes put out. You know what I'm saying? I want to, you know, just put a big deep ass gash in his head. You know? The Lord, hey, the Lord can do what he want with a person, man. Can it escape? You can't Who's escape here? it. That's what we just read in Deuteronomy 32 and 39. I just brought out. There's nothing you can do to get out of his hands if he wants you, man. You through. You ain't got enough money to buy out on the Lord, man. When the Lord own everything, everything you $50 got here. If you had it all money, you still can't do it. You couldn't do it, man. There's no other God with you. For you to be able to do that, you would, and that's a lot. The <laughs> best chance you got is repenting to Yahweh by Shimei was shy. And even in certain certain aspects, you know. It, it, it gets to a point where the Lord is like, hey, look, man, that's the cutoff point. That's it. You done missed the boat, man. You missed the bus, man. Go ahead, I... Fire and but, hell. Now, we, there's some of these spirits right here. Go ahead, I... Fire and hell, famine and death. See? All these were created for vengeance. See, fire, if somebody could get burnt up, baby get burnt up in a house fire, hey, that's yeah, how about she was shot? That's like that storm that happened out there in Buffalo and New York and all those people got frozen. That was the Lord. The Lord can use weather against you. Hey, the Lord can send a damn mosquito to bite your ass, man, and your ass can catch a poisoning and you out of here. Uh. Easy. Nothing, man. Give your ass a heart attack while you driving. Make you kill another nigga. He can kill three, four birds with one stone. Uh. Have you driving to a damn bus full of people? All y'all out of here. The Lord just like, oh, I'm calculating. I want this nigga go. Him, 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 him too. Him, him, him. I'm going to set it up this way. And we're going to get into that too. With um, Ahab. The way the Lord set Ahab up is cold, man. The king Ahab. Man, the Lord set that nigga up cold. Hey, but like I said, those are scripture that's that, that don't come out. They give you a different type of mindset when you see. That's why it's so important to teach the scriptures the proper way. To give that, that proper fear and reverence for Yahweh by Shemuel Messiah because the Christian church, they don't give you no fear of the Lord. They don't give you no fear. You see what I'm saying? You see the brothers honking, man. And we like that though because you know what I'm saying? Hey, this word is going out. Uh. This word is going out. I was looking at the um, brother's video. He was out doing a lot and some people came by. I mean, people rolled by like the bus driver. He probably uh, rolled through here at some point in the game. You know what I'm saying? You know, the same bus driver, he rolled through every week and honked his horn away wave because he know that the children of Israel out here on these highways and byways letting you know to have a, a, a real reverence and fear for you. How about Shimei outside, man? Get your act together. Go ahead, I. Teeth of the wild beasts. Teeth of wild beasts. Hey, that's a pit bull. Hey, and you know what? Hey, that's resilience too. Because, I, you know, I kind of prayed. It was a pit bull. I was about to come out my front door yesterday. A damn pit bull was right on the side of the porch, bro, looking up at me. And I'm like, oh, because I was about to, I'm like, oh, shit. So I come back in, I close the door, right? Because, you know, hey, these teeth are wild. Hey, these damn pit bulls will tear your ass up in the, in the city, man. They be hungry, too. And that dog was hungry, I can tell. So, you know, I'm thinking to myself, like, it's cold as shit out. Because yesterday was like 8 degrees. You know, today is pretty decent weather. You know, it's about 25 off. But you still got to bundle up and come out here on these highways and byways. But, man, the dog... I'm thinking like, damn, should I give him some food? Should I, you know, throw a little, man, you know that dog? I had went to the supermarket, came back and everything, because after I kind of figured like, because I was kind of like, you know, trying to get the dog attention, that motherfucker wasn't saying nothing, wasn't moving, it was just cold as hell, bro. So, still, I had my little bat in my hand. I wasn't gonna take no chance, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, because you gotta use wisdom, man. I wasn't gonna take no chance. 
Because you know an average so-called white person, they would have picked oh, pick him up, brought him in the house, all that shit. Nah, man, hold on. I don't know nothing about the dog. Could have damn rabies, whatever the hell, man. Anyway, I go to the store. I come back. I go to the supermarket. I came back. It was dark. I got my flashlight on my phone, and I'm looking because we kind of got like these big bushes on the side, each side of the porch. And, man, that dog was curled up. It was smart enough because it's snow out. If you can see that snow, it's cold as shit out. Well, this shit is just straight ice now. And it's been like that for what, about a week now? But that dog had sense enough to get out of that snow and find him a spot and curl up. Because there was some leaves underneath my bushes that I didn't get the power blow. And, I, you know, the winter kind of kicked in. And they were just there. So that's where that dog sat there and had a place to warm up. And when I woke up this morning, I checked and looked. He was gone. Gone, man. But you know, you know that just reminded me of that particular scripture the brother just read, um, Teeth of Wild Beasts. Because I didn't see that dog. Literally, he kind of pushes it. You know how you can see something out of your... Dribble. Yeah, that's how I peeked him. I'm like, oh, I jumped back, man. I clashed slammed my damn door. And I'm looking like, oh, hell no. Nah. But uh, go ahead, I... And also, too, that goes off of a scripture where, you know, um, when we qualify, because it happened back in, in um, you know, back in the day, 70 AD or so. But there's a scripture where, you know, the, um, it talks about, um, because I pray, I actually pray this every day. Pray that um, our flight is not in winter, nor on the, uh, on the Sabbath, and that our women are not pregnant over suck. Because last thing you want is to be out here on the run and some shit like this, man, because it's cold. You don't want to be out here on the run, Esau after your ass, and you, you know, for real. Esau after you, and you got to deal with this cold, icy ass, and you off into, you know, you get into a bit, you know. You running off into a spot, you ain't got no damn matches on you to light a piece of wood. Nothing, you just, you know, trying to, hey, we don't want no parts of that, man. That's why we pray to the Lord to, to you know, I pray that every day. I actually pray that for Israel, man. For the elect of Israel and praying that we are a part of the elect, hopefully elect of Israel, man. That our flight is not in winter, nor in Shabbat, and that our um our, our women are not pregnant over suck. Because if you gotta run with some babies and some weather like this, you know, your woman pregnant, and you got a two two-year-old or something, man, that'll be a rough run, man. Okay. Go ahead, I and the sword punish the wicked to destruction and that's for to punish the wicked to destruction so the lord got these spirits of vengeance out here man go ahead because this is hey this right here is a cold part of this um this this verse right here go ahead i'll get that last that they next shall part. rejoice in his commandments see the spirits that the lord created for vengeance they will be they will rejoice in his commandment when the lord tell them to go kill somebody they're rejoicing in it go ahead I. and they shall be ready upon earth when need is them spirits are ready upon earth when need is man there's a spirit there's spirits sitting around right now can't wait to get an order from you how about shimmy outside to go and do a nigga dirty man go ahead I. and when their time is come they shall not transgress his word see when, it, when it's time to get down they're not gonna tell the lord well lord she's a pregnant woman lord why would you know i'm not gonna do that lord nope it says that they rejoice in his commandment so when he go kill her ass and the baby in her stomach too. And her elderly grandmama. That's just like that guy. They, well, they got two guys from the um that shooting down and um yeah, where the hell was that at? But that was judgment too. The the um the 16 year old, she had her baby. She was trying to put her baby over the fence. She was trying to jump. And, and man, the dude shot her ass in the head, executioner style. Shot the 10 month old in the head, sick um, um um executioner style. Went in the house, he killed um, the, the, the 72 year old grandmama in the bed. It was six people that they killed in that, in that I'm talking about just bung in it. You know, they ain't even had to do nothing to that baby. Right. But, 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 but what? That baby got that business, man. Matter of fact, let's get Job um, 4 and 7. I <laughs> and that, hey, this judgment is going out, man. Jake, y'all better wake up, man. You you wanna you wanna wake up and ask for the, the sure mercies of David on a day-to-day -day basis, man. Because we're wicked, stiff neck ass people. You can see Jake, man. We're hey, we're wicked as hell as a people, man. Go ahead, I. 
Go, four and seven. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish being innocent. See? Whoever perish being innocent. Nobody perish being innocent. But that goes off into reincarnation. Where your ass, hey, you come back on this earth, man, and you get that judgment from that last life your ass was living. That's why, matter of fact, let's, uh, let me see where we at. Listen. Get the book of Tobit. Um, in the, in the, um, I think that's chapter four. The book of Tobit. Uh, Tobit, yeah, in the, in the Apocrypha. Uh, Uh, hold on, let me see real quick. Think uh, verse, um, chapter three. Four and three. No, um, I'm Tobit three, and um, we, I think we'll start from the top. Oh, let's, let's get um, um, verse 3. Let's start from verse 3. Verse 3. Yep, Toby 3 and 3. I, Toby, totally have walked all the days of my life in the way, ways of truth. No, where you at? Oh, no, um, chapter 3, verse 3. It's a lot. Oh, yeah, you can probably get some, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Toby 3, verse 3. Remember me. And, and look on me. This is something that you should be praying for on a day-to-day -day basis, man. You know? Go ahead, I. Punish me not for my sins and ignorance. Punish me not for my sins and ignorance, man. That's something that you, because we need the sure mercies of David, man. We, hey, we, we are destroyed as a people. We've, we've always been a wicked, stiff-necked, fucked-up people, man, towards the Lord, man. We don't deserve... Anything that he's doing for us, but call Hello Yim Lai Yahweh by Shimei outside that he has looked upon us, man, and had mercy on us, man. Because none of us should even be here. Go ahead, I. And the sins of my father. See that? The sins of my fathers. Because when you come back, you are your fathers back on earth, man. We're all paying for the sins of past lives, but that's the reason why we, 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 we ask for repentance to our Lord. Go ahead, I. Who have sinned before thee? Yep, uh, our us, our forefathers have sinned. Hey, we we supposed to be asking for repentance of our sins and our forefathers' sins, man. Why do you think we in the Americas in damn slavery because of the things that our forefathers did, man? And us in past life, in past lives. Go ahead, I. For they they obeyed not. Thy commandments. We didn't obey the commandments of Yahweh about Shimei our Shai. We was going off, man, every damn where we went. Go ahead, I. Therefore, they has delivered us for a spoil. They, that, that's why we in the conditions we're in right now in the Americas. When we first came here doing slavery. And, and, and a bunch of other um, um captivities, man. We went, we done been in captivity damn near since we done been on earth as a people. No other race of people have gone through slaveries and captivities like how, like how we have as a people, man. Go ahead, I. And unto captivity and unto death. Yep, unto captivity and unto death. And for a proverb of reproach to all the nations among whom we are despised. Dispersed. Dispersed. Yep, but well, we are everywhere that we have been scattered to, we're a damn proverb. Even, hey, when these nations come to America, all these, you know, your so-called Chinese people, they come over here, Japanese, you know, Koreans, hey, they come over here, they set up shop, restaurants, gas stations, all kinds of shit, and they looking at you like, look at them, them niggas, man. Reproach, man, they look at you like you niggas ain't nothing, man. Nothing, that's why they don't care to, to sweep up the parking lot when, when you go into a store, or care, they don't care about the surrounding of the store, they don't care about the store smelling like piss, you know what I'm saying? They don't clean up, but they wouldn't do that in those so-called white people neighborhoods if they had a store. See, when it comes to you, Jake, they don't care about, man, they don't care about none of that shit. Most of the stores that's here in the city that we at, every now and then you'll come across one that's kind of decent. But overall, when you walk into these stores, man, these stores be fucked up. They, hey, they don't care nothing about nothing, but the coolers keep running. 
to get you a damn beer out of or something, man. And even then, hell, they don't, they don't even care about that. They'll give you and serve your ass a hot beer in a minute. All they care about is it's stand stocked on vanilla dutchies. You know, um, a, a, a wine black and mild with the wood tip for your ass. You know, some wraps, some blunts. You know, they're going to keep that liquor stock for sure. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, they don't care about the candy bars being old as hell, the damn hostess sitting there. Hey, the, 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 all that shit gets so old to the point where they'll put a mark that shit down because they still trying to sell you some shit that's months, damn near a year old, man. They won't get rid of it. They'll mark it down. Go ahead, I. Judgment are many and true. Yep, now our judgments are many and true. And hey, it's coming to the two thirds too. Hey, that judgment, real judgment is the one to go out, man, on our people. Like I said, our people gonna have a we was talking about it last week. Remember, we was talking about <laughs> hey, Jake not gonna really fear the Lord until they ain't got no food to eat. When Jake ain't got nothing to eat, that's when Jake gonna get the where them guys at that was in them garments. It's gonna be too late. Go ahead, I. Deal with me according to my sins yep, yep. and my fathers. Deal with me according to my sins and my fathers. So you have to you have to admit that you are a sinner, man. And a lot of our people, they, they so damn proud. Oh, I never, what you mean? I'm good. I ain't never done nothing. What you talking about? Hey, we got, hey, our people are not going to acknowledge that they're wicked as hell. They're not going to do it. And, and you know what the scripture says? When you say to something like that, you're calling the Lord a liar. Go ahead, I. Because we have not kept thy commandments. We have not kept the commandments of Yahweh by Shimei our side, man. Go ahead, I. Neither have walked in truth before thee. See, we haven't walked in truth before the Lord. That's why it's such a beautiful thing right now that he's waking up the children of Israel and we're starting to go back into our natural um, um, state, man. And calling on the names of Yahweh by Shimei our side, man. You see? Matter of fact, let's get verse 6 too. We can get verse 6. Now, therefore, deal with me as seemeth best unto thee. Yeah, Lord, deal with us as seemeth best to you, Yahweh. And command my spirit to be taken from me. See? Hey, that's how bad Toby was feeling, man. This how, hey, sometimes, you know, we, hey, we feel we feel so vexed in the spirit and being in this place that we just want the Lord to just take us to hell on out of here, man. Like, Lord, just please, Yahweh. Let, you know, you know, I don't want to die by the devil. Yahweh, please don't let me wake up tomorrow. Just let me die in my sleep. See what I'm saying? But, hey, the Lord got work for us to do. And we're not going nowhere until he wants us to go. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead, I. That I may be dissolved and become earth. Yep, that we may be dissolved and become earth. Go ahead, I. For it is profitable for me to die see? rather than to live. It's profitable for me to die than to live. And you know, when you go into the New Testament, it talks about, you know, being um, absent from, um, you know, the body is to be present with the Lord, what we can praise. That's why when you go into the book of Samuel, when Saul, when King Saul went to the um, the witch, or whatever she was, a medium, to call Saul, um, um, Samuel back up, Samuel was like, man, what the hell are you doing? Why are you calling me back? You know? Because our people are at peace. Matter of fact, that goes into the book of Job. Where it talks about our people are at peace, man, when we go back to the spirit realm, man. You see what I'm saying? So, this is what Toby was talking about here, man. Go ahead, Ock. That I may be dissolved and become earth. Yep. For it is possible for me to die rather than to live. Because I have heard false reproaches. reproaches. And have much sorrow. See, you have, um, you know, a, a much sorrow, man, on this planet, man. When you come into this truth, as a matter of fact, the scripture talks about um, prepare thyself. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I think that, what's that, James 1 and 2? Let me grab right that real quick.
It says, my brother, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing that, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and enter wanting nothing. So, you know, hey, when you come into this truth, you're going to go through some things, man. You're going to go through some things when you come into this truth. You know, but hey, it, it, it can't get vexing where you just like, man, damn, bro, I can't wait until this shit is over with. Go ahead, I. And, and have much sorrow, command therefore that I may now be delivered out of this, this distress. Yep. So that's that's what uh, you know. Hey, this thing can it can ride you up into that mindset, man. But you know we have to, um, you know, we got to keep on going, man. We got to keep pushing. We have to keep going and keep pushing, man. And pray to Yahweh about Shimei for that. That's why I be watching the brother um in D.C. um GMS um the D.C. camp and the brother he got um a prayer channel basically, and he he goes off into the Hebrew and he be breaking it down. So it's Hebrew prayers. You know, today he done one on um, Psalms chapter 23 and 4. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. Psalms chapter 23 and 4. Because he done a Hebrew, he done it in Hebrew. 24. 23 and 4. Psalms 23 and 4. Because the Hebrew, when you're praying in the Hebrew, man, that's a beautiful, a special language. You know, and, and it's far different from English, man. I just wanted to go off into what he was on. Um, the 23 and 4. Yeah, yeah, he was going through that. But I mean, hey, Psalm 23 is only six verses. Matter of fact, hey, that's that. You know, you'll, you, you'll see, um, you know, grandmama, she'll have the Bible open on the, on the coffee table to that, that scripture. <laughs> Matter of fact, let's start from the top, huh? It is a beautiful, this, hey, this is a beautiful mindset to have. Go ahead, I. Psalms 23 and 1. A song of David. This is David, our king, man. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. So when you start to feel that, that, that type of way, when you start to feel vexed, you know, you can say, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. And you got to go back to the scriptures because because the, the enemy, Satan, he going to get at your mind and try and give you a bunch of negative shit. That's what your homicide done. Your homicide used the scriptures to get that boy up off his ass, man, in the wilderness, man. He kept using the scriptures. It says, you know, um, um, flee the devil and he'll resist. You gotta, you gotta use the scriptures. Go ahead, I. He making me to lie down in green pastures. Pastures. Yep. He he make us. Hey, he he he's the one that make things smooth for us, man. Go ahead, I. You need to be beside the still water. Hey, everything, hey, the Lord is in control of what's going to go down with us, man. So, you 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 have no reason to worry. Go ahead, I. He restored my soul. He's the one that's going to restore your soul. Because you, it's going to be, you know, hey, the scripture talks about the chastening of the Lord. He says that be joyful when you're chast chastened of the Lord because you're a son, man. If, if not, you're a bastard. You don't want to be no bastard to the Lord. You want to be a son of the Most High, man. Yeah, how about some other side? Go ahead, I. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Where you at? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, he restores my, my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness. That's what we want. That's why you want to constantly be praying. It says pray without ceasing. You know, watch and pray. Because you want to constantly be on point. You know what I'm saying? You want to be on that path of righteousness. You you want to pray to Yahweh about Shimei for that path of righteousness. That's why I'm always pray um, um, Proverbs 3 and 5 and Proverbs 3 and 6. You know, help me Yahweh about Shimei and not lean towards my own understanding. First off, you don't want to be leaning upon your, your own carnal understanding. You want the Lord to be leading you. And then verse 6, it says, um, what is it? Uh... Basically, you know, I pray, help me to acknowledge you in all my ways, that my steps will be ordered by you. So you want to go to the Lord before you're making a decision. You ain't nothing to say, Lord, uh, you know what you, you know, what you want me to do in this particular situation here. The Lord going to give you an answer, man. 
But you can't be double-minded too when you're praying. Scripture goes off into that. You can't be, you know, a wave that's you, you just splat, you just all over the damn place, man. The Lord gonna do it. No, He not gonna do it. The Lord gonna and because you see the enemy, He'll put in your mind like, you know, to get you off of what you prayed for. You have to have complete faith that what you ask the Lord for is gonna be performed. Because the Scripture says that don't expect nothing from the Lord if, if you're double-minded. So you wasting your damn breath just praying and you not believing that He gonna do it. So go ahead, I. Yeah, you know, I walk through the valley. Uh, this is the verse that the brother was doing in Hebrew. I'm, um, you know, I have to go back so I can write it down. Cause I, hey, I normally pray these boys back in Hebrew. Go ahead, I. Yeah, you know, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. You walk through the, the valley of the shadow of death, which is basically that's that's spiritually America, man. Cause this place is the shadow of death, man. Go ahead, I. I feel no evil. I will fear no evil. Why? For thou art the with me. See, because the Lord Yahweh is with us. You ain't supposed to fear no evil, man. Go ahead, I. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. You're going to get constantly be comforted by the Lord, man. That's that's a part of being in this truth. A part of the spirit is, is joy, peace, happiness, man. You know, because you can be going through something and you can have a person that don't even know the Lord can be going through the exact same thing. He's going to be bugging all out his goddamn mind while you sitting back like, you know what? The Lord is in control. The Lord is going to handle it. That's two, hey, that's, that's two totally different mindsets. The spirit and carnality, man. Go ahead, huh? Don't put the bears a table before me in the Woo. presence of my enemies. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies, man. That's cold, man. That's why that scripture that talks about um uh, uh the, the uh you know roughly paraphrasing a man that pleases the Lord would make even his enemies to be at peace with him. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, I the anoint anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. See that? The Lord anointed your head with oil, man. Our cup runneth over, man. We have that 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 that, that belly of flowing water, man. That living water is constantly pouring out of us, man. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta stay on point, stay focused. You gotta use the scriptures, man. I had done a few lessons on that um a while back, you know, about using the scriptures. Use the scriptures. Use the scriptures. Anything negative pop into your mind, you should be wiping that shit away with a scripture, man. Casting down those um those those messed up imaginations, man. Go ahead, I surely goodness, good goodness. And mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. You should have that in your mindset. Goodness and mercy is following me, man. Get the hell out of here, Satan. You know? Get the hell out of here. Hey, you know. If it's coming up against the scriptures, you're supposed to be immediately battling it in your mind and crushing that shit and pushing it out of your mindset, man. Straight up. Because you're in a spiritual war. Go ahead, I. I will dwell in the house. Of the Lord forever, and that's the mindset you want to have. That you're gonna dwell in the in the house of the Lord forever, man. You see what I'm saying? So hey, hey, hey we have to stay on point, man. Hey, use the scriptures, man. That's a part. That's one of the main parts. The sword is one of our main one of our main weapons, man. The sword, the, the sword of truth, the scriptures, man. All in the name of Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh and his son Yahweh's side. Hey, you winning, man. Now things are gonna happen, but you got the 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 the, the tools to, to win, man. You see? But like we 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 gonna go ahead and um end out, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's get uh the Romans 13 and 11 up. Hey, we're living in these last days, man. It's high time to awake out of sleep. And you know these scriptures talk to it says that um there'll be the stability of our times in these last days. This wisdom, man. So get, you know, get all that you can. Muster up as much as you can, because you might be on the run. You may not have your phone. You know, you may not have your physical Bible. Hey, these scriptures gotta be within you. So that they'll come out when, when need be. Just in case this man got you on the run, man. Because it's scriptural 
that some of us are going to be on a run. Some are going to be caught. Some are going to be martyred. You want to be prepared and ready. You want to have that, that mindset of the Lord got me, man. The Lord is in control of all things, man. But the enemy going to be coming at you with some shit. Go ahead, I. And, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is all our salvation nearer than when we believe. Yep. Hey, and so, hey, it's high time to awake out of sleep, according to this Romans 13 and 11. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Hey, you, you, you got to be able to see around you the thing we just read. We started off the camp with the Matthew 24, with the Lord talking about um, wars, rumors of wars. Famines, pestilence, earthquakes in diverse places, uh, kingdom against kingdom, uh, 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 nation against nation. The baby truck. I had one of them. <laughs> the baby truck. Go ahead, I verse 12. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. So, hey, you got to cast off those works of darkness, man. And put on that armor of light, which is this truth. And we bring this out every single week that we're out here, man. We end out with this scripture every weekend because this is where we're at. Where we're in the last days. The kingdom is at hand. The Lord is about to make his return soon. And we're already in the beginning of sorrows, man. So the countdown has started. You want to be ready, man, when, it, when the jump off jumps off, man. You don't want to be, you know... The damn bus coming and you just getting out of bed. The bus up the block. You know what I'm saying? The bus is not going to stop, wait on you. They're going to get in the shower, brush your damn teeth and all this other shit. No, the bus is going to keep moving, man. So when this door of mercy closes, or this door, this, this, um, this door of grace closes, hey, it's going to be a wrap. It's only a certain amount of time you get to get this, man. So you have to repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, man. So with that, we're going to end out. And, and we just want to just give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakahakdash. Double honors again to our apostles and elders, the great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. I just want to say the water again to all you Akim and Apwa that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments. Hope Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to the best of your ability. And, uh, hey, we almost there, man. So keep on doing what you're doing. Keep praying, keep fasting, keep reading, keep learning. And just, hey, you, we have to wait, man. Patiently wait, man. So with that, Kwame Asala.